I came to the Broken Spoke all excited to learn more about banana seats and if they're still available because I have great memories of riding my bike like this, big handlebars, with my best friend Francis on the back of my banana seat bike. But lo and behold, it's modern now and there's electric bikes. <laughs> Michael Collins of Broken Spoke is moving to something new, more modern, beyond just the urban bike experience. Now they're combining it with technology, with electronic bikes that are battery operated to help you out. Yeah, the technology has come leaps and bounds, like all technology does. When it first comes out, within a few years, it, ex it grows exponentially. Uh, and one big thing is the battery life. Um, so you can get like 100 kilometers out of each charge, uh, and you can get like 1,000 charges out of each battery. So that's, people are, feel confident in the batteries now. Um, the other thing is, it's the technology of when the battery kicks in is quite important. Um, it basically, when, when it feels you're struggling, when you're setting off from a junction, uh, when you get to a, a different camber in the road, when it goes up a little bit, um, it just kicks in just a little bit to keep your cadence the same. Um, and that helps with balance when you're setting off and it also helps with balance as you're going up hills. Um, and it's very intuitive. It's, 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 you, after a while you hardly notice it's there except for like a slight humming sound. Um, and it does make you feel like you're just a really strong rider. So it's, yeah, it's, it's fun. Are we gonna see more urban cycling? Is, is that the modern thing to do? Uh, it seems that way. Every city that's built cycling infrastructure has seen an increase in cycling traffic. Uh, these things, uh, and, and then as well as the infrastructure, the bikes help, uh, the parking helps, things like that. Um, and I think, you know, in, in, in Colmox, where they put a lot of bike lanes in, you've seen a huge rise in cycling. Um, Cumberland, where cycling is part of the community so much, you see almost everyone's got, if they're not riding a bike, there's a bike on the back of the truck at least. Uh, and Courtney's gonna get there. You know, we've got our first uh, bike lane was built on Fitzgerald uh, a year or two ago. Uh, if you go down to the estuary, there's, there's cyclists down there all the time on the paths. And we just, yeah, we just need a few, few bike lanes and things like electric bikes and things like that help as well. Catherine, what happened to your poor paw? Um, I ruptured my Achilles playing ultimate frisbee. Well, I reached the stage in my recovery where I'm allowed to um, paddle like a stationary bike. So I'm allowed to paddle a bike, but I can't be putting a lot of pressure on it. So I came here and Mike let me try one of the electric bikes. And they're perfect because you can pedal and get yourself around town, but you don't put a lot of pressure on the, on the pedals because the electricity is like doing the extra work for you. So my banana seed just doesn't cut it anymore. There is more modern technology and it's allowing everyone to ride the bike, whether it's someone that has an injury or someone that just doesn't have the confidence or the athleticism to ride a regular bike. From Broken Spoke Coffee House and Bike Shop, I'm Andrina Kershulte for Shaw TV.